All right, guys, I am back with my review of this week's WWE Monday Night Raw for December 24th, 2012. Um, it's Christmas Day now, so I hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. And this show was your typical, like the Tribute to the Troops show, a feel-good show where the baby faces go over all night, and it ends on a happy note with Santa Claus being okay, um, Santa Foley. So it did have its goofy moments here and there, but that's what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like a light-hearted Christmas show. Um, so I can't really judge this show too harshly because it wasn't supposed to be your average Raw or SmackDown. Um, but I thought they did a good job with the jokes. Some of the stuff was funny, and Brad Maddox had a pretty good match with the great Kali. I was impressed by that. That was actually pretty good. Um, there were some other good matches on the show, so overall I enjoyed it. Three hours is still a long time, um, especially for a show like this that's kind of just supposed to be a lot of jokes and comedy, but I didn't think it was too bad. So it starts off with Santa Claus coming out. Actually, it starts off with that music video they made of the superstars singing Dashing to the Show they put on YouTube a few weeks back. Um, I like that. Can you dig it? You sing too. <laughs> oh, So they start off with that. And Santa Foley comes out, he's handing out some toys, and he gets run over by Alberto Del Rio. Now this show was taped, and thank God, because they cut away from this bump, and it had to look horrible. The actual bump where the car hits him, um, that had to look terrible because they, they never showed it. And Foley was over here, and the car was over here. He had to just run and dive onto the hood of this thing to even make it look realistic at all. Uh, so yeah, I could see why they kept cutting away from the actual bump. But Del Rio gets out of the car and he's all shocked. And Santa gets taken out on a stretcher. Ricardo starts dry heaving. Backstage, the wrestlers are waiting to hear about Santa's condition. Booker T comes out and Titus O'Neil says, my kids, man. <laughs> Uh, Booker says that Santa's down, but he wants the show to go on. And Del Rio says it was an accident. And Cena runs up to him and says, What are you doing, man? Just being really overdramatic. Um, but it was hilarious the way he was acting here. I thought it was really funny. And I'm obviously not a Cena fan, but I thought he did a good job with this. So Booker says Santa wants a miracle on 34th Street fight with Del Rio versus Cena. And Booker tells Cena to do it for Santa. And Cena says, For Santa! <laughs> uh, we get Cody Rhodes versus Kane. Cody removes one of the turnbuckles. Kane throws him into it. Hits a choke slam for the win. A Santa's Helper Divas tag match with Layla, Caitlin, Oct Alicia Fox and Natalia versus Oksana Eve, Rosa, and Tamina. They really went out of their way to use as many superstars as possible on this Christmas show. They didn't use everybody because the shield wasn't there, but I guess they wanted to use a lot of the guys who don't really get a lot of TV time. I know Yoshi Tatsu was in the backstage segment, so. They all hit their finishers, which apparently Oksana's is a spine buster. And then Caitlyn knees Eve in the stomach for the win. Backstage, Dolph and AJ are having a romantic evening. They're watching his match from TLC. There's police tape around the crime scene where Del Rio hits Santa now. Big Show versus Sheamus in a Lumberjack Frost match. This was an okay match. Big Show puts Sheamus in a submission hold and starts singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. His voice is so loud, you can just... You can hear him perfectly without a microphone. Sheamus ducks the KO punch and hits the bro kick for the win. All the lumberjacks start fighting. Baby faces take out the heels and celebrate with Sheamus. David Otunga's in the ring. He defends Del Rio. And Zack Ryder comes out. They have a match. I didn't care much for this. Zack wins with the Rough Rider. Booker and Teddy Long are laughing about Otunga losing. And Brad Maddox comes up and puts his arm around Teddy and starts laughing like he's been there the whole time. And Teddy says, you don't know me like that, playa. Uh, <laughs> and Booker gives him another match to earn his contract, but he has to be one of Santa's elves. Not really sure why he told him that. He never 
came out in an elf costume or anything. Miz and Kofi versus Wade Barrett and Antonio Cesaro. This was a decent match here. Miz DDT Cesaro. He throws Barrett into the ropes where Kofi hits Trouble in Paradise. Miz hits Skull Crushing Finale on Barrett for the win. They're still protecting Antonio Cesaro, which is great. It really shows that they care a lot about him to put him to protect him over Barrett right now. AJ is wearing Dolph's merchandise now. Brad Maddox comes out singing Brad Maddox is coming to Raw. He has to face Hornswoggle, or he has to face the great Kali. Hornswoggle and Kali come out in these elf costumes. And like I said earlier, this was actually a decent match here. I mean, nothing spectacular, I'm not saying that, but for a great Kali match, this was pretty good. Uh, all the credit has to go to Brad Maddox here, obviously. Kali wins with a Punjabi plunge. Um, there was actually a Let's Go Maddox chant. And then Kali says, Merry Christmas, I miss you. <laughs> I have no idea where he got that, but Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler were cracking up on commentary when he said this. And he kept saying it. It was really funny. It reminded me of the old heel Cole. So Punk and Heyman come out. And Punk says, Ryback ruined Christmas for all the mutants by injuring him. And he wasn't even punished for this. And now Ryback believes he's getting yet another title shot. He says, even with one leg, he's still better than Ryback. Ryback comes out and he says he's getting the match they were supposed to have January 7th on Raw. It's supposed to be Ryback versus Punk. And now it's going to be tables, ladders, and chairs. This sounds awesome. I'm sure the Shield's going to interrupt the match and cost Ryback the match again, so it's Punk versus Rock, especially since Punk's wearing a knees-to-faces shirt now, so you know he's not going to lose the belt before the Royal Rumble, but this should still be a really fun match. Daniel Bryan versus Damian Sandow. Sandow taps to the Yes Lock. A 12 Days of Christmas 12-man tag match with Brodus Clay, The Usos, Santino, Tyson... Justin Gabriel versus 3MB, Primetime Players, and Tensai. So Slater hits the DDT on Santino. One of the Usos super kicks him. Justin Gabriel hits a moonsault. Tyson hits the elbow. And then the other Uso hits the splash for the win. Daniel Bryan is excited about Christmas. Kane says he hates it, but he got Daniel Bryan a present. It's a slammy. So Brian gives Kane a present, it's a dog, and Kane wants to eat it. AJ's reading a Christmas story about the WWE. They make out under the mistletoe. Matt Stryker says that Santa's taken a turn for the worse, and the heart monitor starts playing jingle bells, and his feet start tapping together like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. And then we get Cena versus Del Rio in the Miracle on 34th Street fight. Ricardo is crying about Santa Claus. Del Rio grabs a mic and says, It was an accident. He wasn't trying to hit Santa. And then he beats Cena with the microphone. Cena grabs the mic and says, Santa! <laughs> and he opens a present. It's a still chair. And Ricardo hands Del Rio a present. And it's a pie. So he tries to hit Cena with the pie. He ducks. He hits Ricardo. Uh, they fight up the ramp. And Ricardo tries to hand him another present. He says it's a bazooka, but it's a teddy bear. Del Rio still tries to use the teddy bear. He throws it at Cena. It was funny. And Cena rolls a bowling ball into Del Rio's balls, sprays him with a fire extinguisher, and then Santa returns. He comes back out. Ricardo's all happy to see him. And Santa hits him in the face with his sack, which was kind of a heel thing to do. I mean, it, it was an accident. I mean, Del Rio is, Del Rio is still technically a baby face, I believe, um, even though they really haven't been booking him like one. But you can tell they're still trying to keep him baby face by having him say it was an accident and everything. And then Santa just hits Ricardo, who really had nothing to do with the accident. I know I'm reading way, way too much into this, but it was still kind of weird that he hits him with the sack. Uh, he pulls out a stocking Mr. Sacco and uses it on Del Rio. Del Rio gets up, Cena hits the AA for the win, and that was it. So that was the Christmas Eve Monday Night Raw. 
Um, it was an okay show, I mean, for what it was. I didn't expect it to be anything different. I knew it was going to be a Christmas episode here, and they weren't really going to try and put over angles and stuff like that. So, for what it was, I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully SmackDown's good this week, and they're really going to start building up this Royal Rumble with The Rock coming back. I know The Rock's scheduled for a few Raws in January, so that should be fun. And Rock Punk, I expect some great promos out of these two. So anyways, that's my review of this week's episode of Raw. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on this week's episode in the comments, and thanks for watching. Bye. Wasn't supposed to be your average Raw or SmackDown, um, but I thought they did a good job with the jokes. Some of the stuff was funny, and Brad Maddox had a pretty good match with the great Kali. I was impressed by that. That was actually pretty good. Um, there were some other good matches on this show, so overall, I enjoyed it. Three hours is still a long faces go over all night, and it ends on a happy note with Santa Claus being okay, um, Santa Foley. So it did have its goofy moments here and there, but that's what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like a lighthearted Christmas show. Um, so I can't really judge this show too harshly because it a long time, um, especially for a show like this that's kind of just supposed to be a lot of jokes and comedy. But I didn't think it was too bad. So it starts off with Santa Claus coming out. Actually, it starts off with that music video they made of the superstars singing Dashing to the Show they put on YouTube a few weeks back. Um, I like that. Can you dig it? You sing too. <laughs> oh, So they start off with that. And Santa Foley comes out. He's handing out some toys. And he gets run over by Alberto Del Rio. Now this show was taped. And thank God. Because they cut away from this bump. And it had. Alright, guys, I am back with my review of this week's WWE Monday Night Raw for December 24th, 2012. Um, it's Christmas Day now, so I hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. And this show was your typical, like the Tribute to the Troops show, a feel good show where the baby.